Planet Crafter is one of the best survival, terraforming, and building games I've ever played. I've started and restarted playing this game so many times. In this video, let's talk about getting started in Planet Crafter. Let's go! Hi, it's Drax. This is the part at the beginning of the video that everyone skips. For those of you that didn't jump forward, enjoy watching and listening. Might you consider supporting me further by visiting my Ko-fi or clicking on the join button on this video? All right, that's it. Back to the video. There's no right way to start in Planet Crafter. The following are simply suggestions to help you in the early game. I'm not an expert. I'm a gamer, just like you. I think the most important part of any start is to have fun and remember that running out of air, it's not the end. All right, a bit of a warning here, there's a spoiler in my first tip. The game is about taking a barren planet and bringing it back to life. So I think it will come as no surprise to anyone that there's going to be the addition of water early on. On the standard start, your pot is dropped into what seems like a valley, but quickly you realize the valley is actually a lake bed. Like most first time players, I built my base right next to the pod, only to have to move everything to higher ground as water creeped in. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with this start. I think you could save time and maybe a bit of frustration by moving to higher ground right from the get-go. So at the start of the game, I take what I can carry and I start walking uphill. And then I find a nice place to build, set up shop. The pod will always be there, even underwater. You can go back and visit anytime. Food, water, and oxygen, or O2, are a constant drain at the beginning of the game. The water and food are somewhat easy to manage. The O2 is an ever-present reminder to seek shelter. The first time I played this game, I had a genuine fear of running out of oxygen. Crafting the first O2 tank is part of the start tutorial, and it does help. I find myself pushing towards the next upgrade pretty quick because the jump in O2 reserve is significant. Remember, it's not the end of the world when you die. Just respawn back at home and then run back. When I know I'm not going to make it, I try to get as close as I possibly can to cut down on the run back. Planet Crafter, like most survival and building games, means you're going to do some inventory management. Storage comes in a couple of different forms, and the layout and organization is a big part of the game. My initial base usually consists of a couple of crates in a small living compartment. This doesn't last long, of course. The game is about exploring and collecting. One of my first big building projects is always a storage building. This process is personal and everyone will do it a little bit different. Hey, I'd like to see your layouts. Share them with me in the comments below. Always looking for a better way to do this. My storage setup is focused on ease of access and use. In the door and into the storage is my motto. With the addition of drones, your storage and layout will likely change as you reach the mid and late game. But this is a starter guide. Late game tips are for another video. As you roam the planet collecting resources, you'll find certain areas have specific ore types associated with them. One of the first you'll need, and hopefully find, will be aluminium, or aluminum. You'll be visiting these areas and others throughout the map often. The resources you find there will be mined, and then mined again, and then again. I like to set up mining shacks in these areas. Nothing fancy, a small living compartment with a couple of crates for storage. This building serves more as an O2 top-off and rest up more than anything else. Having these located in an area where you're mining will take the stress out of having to run all the way back to base every time you're low on air. In the early game, having these little shacks spread throughout the world is a lifesaver. Terraforming the planet is one of your main objectives. I sometimes slow down or lose focus in the early game when it comes to keeping the terraforming train rolling. I think one of the many strengths of the game is the terraforming mechanic. There's no rush. You can take it at your own pace. Want to speed run and get trees and frogs? You can. The game never pushes you or forces you to speed up or slow down. Planet Crafter can truly be played at whatever pace you desire. It might seem silly to add this to the start guide, but I really do think it's important to remember. Also, being able to play at your own pace is one of my favorite parts of this game. Explore. I was chatting with a new Planet Crafter player recently and they were talking about how it was hard for them to venture out. I was thinking back to my first playthrough and remembering I had the same problem. It's scary out there with limited O2 and no jetpack, but exploring the planet, finding cool crashed ships, hidden areas, and new landscapes is not only fun, but it's how you'll move the game forward. Exploration leads to cool new stuff you can craft and build. Now, I know you can't play the game without leaving the safety of home, but it's easy to stay close and play it safe. Here's the advice I gave my friend and I wish I could have given myself at the start. Get out early and explore. You have nothing to lose. Also, wait. There's a jetpack? Well, there they are, my start tips for Planet Crafter. I'm sure I've missed a few. I'd love to hear your hot tips. Please share them with me in the comments below. 
Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. The video is over. Now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.